I was just reading a book about Leonardo da Vinci. What does the name Leonardo da Vinci bring to mind? Artist? Sculptor? An engineer? What about long-lived men? Leonardo da Vinci had a very long life for his period. This gave Leonardo enough time to make contribution and earn recognition during his lifetime. This recognition helped us recover many of his documents because they were saved immediately after his death, because he lived a long life. But this is no coincidence. Our human history has been shaped by long-lived people. When you have more time to live, you can make greater impact. Today, we'll look into how longevity shaped our human history, from Leonardo, other painters, emperors, kings, and politicians. This is a different perspective on history that you never heard before. Now, let's start. Welcome to the Wellness Messiah podcast. I'm your host, Rimon. Let's start with Leonardo da Vinci and this book. Leonardo was born in 1452, near Florence. Leonardo was illegitimate son. His biological father, Piero, was married to a different woman who died at the age of 28. This was life back then. During this time, as you can see, the average life expectancy was 48 years. Leonardo didn't have a good chance to reach the 16th century. Yet Leonardo beat the odds and lived up to the age of 69. That's more than the retirement age of our days. But despite his long life, Leonardo only produced less than 20 surviving paintings, and several of them unfinished. So besides the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, why do we view Leonardo as a genius? There is a great credit to his longevity. Let me explain. Leonardo lived long enough to gain recognition as a painter. While Leonardo was alive, people looked up to him. So much so that Giorgio Vasari, who lived during the last period of Leonardo's life, started creating biography on Leonardo's life. Also, thanks to this recognition, many of his sketches, journals, and cartoons were collected and archived by others, protected and saved to this day. Because they were saved immediately after his death. Because he lived a long life. Many of these personal documents really were the testimony to Leonardo genius. You can see there is war machines and mechanical inventions, none of which were actually implemented. But today, we know how visionary and spot-on and accurate Leonardo was with his drawings. Without those documents, who knows if today he would still be recognized. Let me tell you an anecdote. My wife and I relocated from Israel to London. It's because of her medical condition that required a clinic that was established in London. The clinic sign is Leonardo Vitruvian Man, one of his famous sketches, not a painting at all. And this clinic has Leonardo's sketches all over the place, and the leading doctor looks up to Leonardo, takes inspiration from him. This is greatness. So this is Leonardo da Vinci and longevity. But let's continue with other people who influenced art and the human history. What about Donatello? Donatello too was a Florentine sculpture of the Renaissance period. Whether you're into Renaissance sculpture or you just have watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He's a radical rapper. Leonardo leads Donatello does machines. That's a fact, Jack. Then you would know his contribution too. He had enough time to make contribution since he died at the age of 80, almost double the average lifespan of his age. Another mutant ninja turtle is Michelangelo. His contribution is known too to Renaissance art, and he too was a long-lived man. He died at the age of 88. That's even old for men today. Do you know Maximinus Daza? Neither do I. He was a Roman emperor, but who died three years after the co-emperorship from a disease. He shared his co-emperorship with another leader that you may have heard of, Constantine the Great. Constantine the Great, he was rather a long-lived man himself, living up to 60 years of age. 65 years is near our current retirement age, enough to get some job done. Establishing Christianity impacted the entire human history and affects us to this day. You see, when you have a lifetime to live, you have the chance to learn from your mistakes and you have memorable impact on the people around you. That is true throughout history. Julius Caesar, another Roman emperor, one of his marks was changing the calendar. The calendar that we are using today came from Julius, despite all the credit for the current calendar going to the Pope Gregory XIII. The month July also is after his name. He also discovered England for the Romans and conquered France. 
How long has he lived? Well, you probably know that he was assassinated, but he had enough time to live his mark. He was assassinated at the age of 55. After Julius came another very impactful emperor of his time, Octavian, also known as Augustus. Augustus conquered Egypt and solidified the borders of the empire and truly changed the power structure of the Roman Empire from the Senate to the emperorship and the emperor. And the month August, also that we are using today, was named after him. He was long-lived man. He lived to the age of 75. This gave him almost 40 years of reign. After his death, Augustus was looked up in many years to come in the Roman Empire. When you live so long, you become consensus and people worship you for years. But let's put aside Roman history. Today, as I said, I live in London, and recently we had here the Jubilee celebration of the 70-year rule of Elizabeth II. This Elizabeth is 96 today, but the previous Elizabeth, Elizabeth I, had tremendous impact not just on the UK, but on the entire globe. She formed the basis for the largest empire the world had ever seen. Elizabeth had been in power for nearly 50 years and died at the age of 69. During this very long time, she solidified the power of the United Kingdom, defended successfully from the King of Spain, and created the grounds for the British Empire following her reign immediately. Another contribution of hers that she showed to the British people that despite the fear, queens can be great rulers. She was the first successful queen, after Bloody Mary had given a bad reputation. Also a state in the US today is called after her. Since Elizabeth chose not to bring children, Probably defending herself from assassination for a male heir, she earned the moniker the Virgin Queen, hence the name of the state Virginia. Another famous king is King George III. Even though King George III doesn't have very good reputation with the American tradition, yes, he is the guy that fought the American colonies in 1776. But King George III had enormous impact in British history, and with a very good reason. He had enough time to do so unlike his previous predecessors, King George I and the second. King George III lived up to the old age of 81, quite long for his time. We spoke about the Independence War of 1776. What happens on the other side of this war, in the American Founding Fathers? Many of them actually lived quite long. George Washington lived to the age of 67, Thomas Jefferson died at age 83, and Benjamin Franklin died after a long life at the age of 84. And the last in our list, I want to talk about Winston Churchill. Not the UK again, you probably thinking. Well, I immigrated from Israel to the UK, and here they force you to memorize British history and eat beans for breakfast, or you're kicked out of the country. Not really, but you do know Winston Churchill. Which thoughts does Churchill bring to mind? If you had asked me a years ago, I would say Churchill was the guy that saved Europe and probably the world from Nazism. But Churchill, most of his life, up to the age of 65, was an epic failure. Most people don't know that. In World War I, he made a fateful decision for the British army to attack Turkey on its Dardanelles coast, specifically at Gallipoli. This disastrous Gallipoli campaign, where 115,000 British troops were killed with no progress in that front whatsoever, in part belongs to his decision. He also was wrong big time on Gandhi, which caused his reputation, and he also had a terrible policies on Ireland. After all these mistakes, Churchill was literally kicked out of British politics. As in 1931, Churchill was not invited to join the cabinet. If that doesn't seem like a big success to you, he lost most of his American investments in the Wall Street crash in 1929. In fact, we know that during his trip in the US, he had unpaid bills in many American hotels. In 1930, Churchill was on the verge of bankruptcy, in debt equal to $4 million today. And if that wasn't enough as a failure, he was badly hurt when he was struck by a car in New York City. So there he was, in his mid-60s, failure and almost broke, at the age that most people's productive life were behind them. Luckily, Churchill had some longevity genes. When Churchill came to power, he was still in a good health despite heavily drinking, smoking and going through a car accident. He is known for his quote about alcohol, I have taken more out of alcohol than alcohol has taken out of me. Where most people would have died from liver failure, the Churchill longevity gene were turned on, giving him the good health and youthfulness to be correct with his warning against Hitler. And he was there, 
in the right place and in the right time. At the age of 65, for the first time in his career, he became the Prime Minister during the World War II era. And the rest is history. After the war, Churchill lived enough to make an extra term as a Prime Minister. And he lived a long life, dying at the age of 90. Enough to enjoy the respect and recognition he deserved and he gained during his lifetime. As you can see, to leave a great contribution, you only need to be right once on a very big issue. But for that, you need to live long enough. I think it's very inspiring as longevity gives us time to turn the table on life, regardless of how old we are. So this is for today. I thought it was a fun and entertaining video about longevity. Maybe one that can give you more motivation to stay on course and apply longevity strategies, similar to the ones I show in this channel. And by taking care of your health and your longevity, you can find your own unexpected compensation. You can have more impact on the lives of others. So stay healthy, stay young, and stay subscribed. And see you in the next video.